Alright, here we go. Here's how we factor a trinomial whose leading coefficient is 1. Very nice. Let's go ahead and go through here. I have four examples that are really going to smooth out this factorization. Um, they all tell a story. Here's how this story goes. We're looking for the factors of 10 that add to be 7. Okay. Here we're looking for the factors of 10 that add to be 7. Okay. Here we're looking for the factors of 10 that subtract to be 3. Teehee. Here we're looking for the factors of 10 that subtract to be 3. Teehee. So in all of these examples, I need to find the factors of 10. So I'm going to go ahead and break it down. Oh, oh. All right. 10 is 1 and 10 and 2 and 5. That's the set of all the factors. We know because we're all close and stuff. So that's how we know we're done. So then, let's take a look at our first example up here. Yeah. Um, looking for the factors of 10 that add to be 7. Are there any? Oh, yes. It appears there are two. Five and two. All right. So you got to get that. You got to get that. You got to get that. Boom, boom, boom. Two and five. X and X. Now, these things continue to tell the story. The signs are the same. And they're both positive. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. We'll recap on all that. Let's um, take it back. I'm over here now. Sure. I'm looking for the factors of 10 that add to be 7. Are there any? I see I have 2. 2 and 5. So you gotta get that. You gotta get that. Boom, boom, boom. 2 and 5. X and X. Here's how the story goes. We're looking for the factors of 10 that add to be 7. Okay, we found 2 and 5. This says the signs are the same. And they're both negative. 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 If you don't believe me, check it! How would you check that? Foil. Haha. -ha. Foiled again. Let's go down here to this example. Uh huh. Here's how this story goes. We're looking for the factors of 10 that subtract to be 3. Are there any? Yeah. Looks like we got 5 and 2 again. Man, we should have had some variety. Hmm. Well, maybe in a different hour. Um, factors of 10 that subtract to be 3. 2 and 5. Uh huh. So you like, so you like, bam, bam, oh, two and five, very nice, x and x, factors of ten that subtract to be three, two and five. Here's how the signs go. The signs are different, and the big one's positive. Okay, plus, minus, let's go over here. Okay, now I'm looking for, now I'm looking for the factors of ten that subtract to be three. Are there any? Yes. Two and five. Nice. Um, bam, bam. Five, two. Could I put the five there? Uh-huh. Could I put the two there? Uh-huh. But what? We'll iron all that out when we assign the signs. So I'm gonna put my X here. I'm gonna put my X there. Here's how the story goes. Signs are different. And the big ones, negative. Negative. Positive. It's still all good. So let's recap. Factors of 10 that add to be 7. Okay. Signs are the same, both positive. Yes. Factors of 10 that add to be 7. 2 and 5. Signs are the same, they're both negative. In these cases, the signs are the same. That's what that thing says. In these cases, the signs are different. That's what those guys say. Can you see that? Signs different? <laughs> Yeah, that's a sign in front of your constant. This says the signs are different and the big one's not positive. Signs are different and the big one's positive. Signs are different and the big one's negative. Signs are different and the big one's negative. And then what? Yeah. A box and a flower. A box. And a flower, a box, and a flower, and one more, a virtual bouquet, a box, and a flower, 
four for the price of one. That was fun. Mm -hmm.